Hi, in this slide, I'm going to tackle the single biggest, scariest F of them all, fear, or we are going to do this fearlessly. Uh, clearly, I think fear is the number one reason that people uh, don't change, uh, don't uh, follow their heart and do what they, they want. I've, you know, there was a, a line in the song, The Rose, sung by Bette, Whittler, Bette Midler, where she talked about love is for the lucky and the bold. And whether it's romantic love or it's, it's, it's occupational love or skill set love, people are just so scared and they look around and truly they think, well, the people that do succeed are the ones that just seem to not care about failing. They just get out there and thrash around and then they, then they get lucky or maybe they, they try something and they just get lucky the first time. People do that. Um, first time they get a bat, they hit a home run and think they're great. Um, so it is the number one reason for not changing. And we can, if we're kind with ourselves and look at our evolution, we have to realize that business innovation is totally antithetical to the three and a half million years of survival habits, which is figure out works and just stick to that and don't fuss around because then you're going to get eaten by a saber-toothed tiger. Now, I'm hoping that through all the repetition that's been built into these video clips to date, and even through these these this alliteration of Fs, that the fear is already starting to drop and people realize, okay, if all the other design adjectives are present, and we know that we're going in a very strategically focused vision path direction, that is our number one historic most profitable niche, and we have shrunk the, the first steps to such small, trivial little baby steps that everybody can say, well, you know, that's easy enough. I, I, can, I can do that. I mean, by illustration, uh, if somebody is very out of shape, uh, if we said as a first step, can, while you watch your favorite TV show, can you stand up? and march in place for a two-minute commercial break during one show each night. And most people say, yeah, I, I could do that because walking is good. And then if you just count the number of steps you do and you do 10 more steps every day, you're on a path. And which it turns out that six months later, they're walking 30, 30 minutes a day. So we got to just get moving and do it in such a small way that we think, hey, I can do it. Um, we have to assume that if we shift the emphasis from you're great or you're not so great to, you know what, whether you're great or not, that's not the issue. What the issue is wherever you are, you are. And the, the, what's important is how do we take that first step and get start moving down the path uh, and work on the things that we can control on an input side. And over time, the outputs will take care of themselves. So there is no shame in what level you're starting at. In fact, there's only reward or, or you know, uh, uh, satisfaction with the fact that we have started to move. So if we start tiptoeing forward towards the next level, personal best will follow, and that's that's its own reward. We don't have to worry about how we're doing on the global ranking report. Um, and then as far as helping to reduce fear from a total corporate viewpoint, uh, management's got to switch from, all right, who screwed up, who spent this extra nickel, whatever, to saying, how do I catch people doing things right or wrong in a disguised version so we can learn the lesson? How do I catch people particularly making really good mistakes? Um, how do we get the whole team to buy into the idea of Kaizen, very small, gentle, journey starts with one baby step uh, thinking philosophy? Um, and our overall goal here should be that we want to help every individual in our company, every process, functional department team, every profit center branch say, you know what, at our place, we are confident good mistakers, if, if mistakers is a word. So that's my little sermonette on fearlessly. Thank you.